Sitting here talking with Otter Skipper and 1,000 professional managerial winner Andy McCauley after last night's win here at Gateway. 10-3 was the final last night's game. First off, Andy, congratulations on that 1,000th win. What were some of the emotions that were going through after winning that one? Well, thank you, Ryan, and uh, thank you to the whole Otters organization. They've been great, um, you know, throughout my 11 years here with them. But yeah, last night was didn't really hit me at the time. Um, you know, it was just another win. I was glad to win 10-3. And you know, in this ballpark, anything can happen at any time. So getting out with a 10-3 and the guys playing as well as they did was was first. And then you know, the guys did a little little ceremony in the clubhouse that was uh, you know very rewarding and emotional. Uh, you know, it, it, it's the biggest thing I noticed was the, the 54 text messages I had this morning. Uh, of previous players, previous managers, coaches, uh, and friends throughout the way that all reached out. That that was the that was the neat thing this morning. I don't think it's really hit yet what that number means or what it is. I'm sure it's something I'll look back on. But uh, you know, it was uh, it was a little surreal today getting through all that. But uh, you know, looking forward to moving past it and moving on. Since 1998, when you first got to manage with the Kalamazoo Kodiaks, now at the Evansville Otters since 2010. I'd love to hear some of the lessons you think you've gotten to learn in that time from the game of baseball that you get to pass on to your players in the clubhouse, in the dugout, on the field that maybe fans don't get to necessarily hear all that often. Uh, it, you know, the, the thing is, you do it long enough and, and the game slows down. And that's what the kids at this level don't realize. You know, they, they need the reps. They need to fail. They, you know, they will succeed if they stick with it. And those are the things that I think you, you learn with experience no matter you know, what line of work you're in. You know, there, there is going to be failure. And when there is, there is. But uh, it's how you respond and if you learn from your losses. And that, that's what we're trying to, to teach at this level because, you know, you're going to fail in this game. And if you can learn from it and make adjustments, you're going to be better. So, you know, I think that's, uh, that, that's the biggest thing you take away from that. And then all the bus rides and all the, the stuff, all, all the negative stuff you forget about every offseason for some reason. You just remember the good times, the good memories, the good players, the good people you come in contact with. How about of those good memories, a thousand wins, a lot of great memories, how about what ones stand out to you first and foremost right at the top of the brain? Uh, first of all, I, you know, I, I feel lucky to be able to, to sit here and talk to you. I mean, it, I've, I've been blessed and fortunate with uh, you know, the opportunities I've been given throughout my career, most of which you know, in Evansville on July 5th in, in 2010 when uh, Mr. Busson gave me this opportunity. But uh, some of the bigger wins, I mean, I remember beating the Richmond Roosters were one of the best teams in the league in 98, and uh, they had a guy, Morgan Burkhart, who was dubbed the, the Babe Ruth of, uh, of the Frontier League. He was an unbelievable hitter. And, Bases loaded, we were up by two, and he was coming to bat. And we, we, we intentionally walked him with the bases loaded. The next guy lined out the center field, we won the game. And wins were few and far between in that year in 98. So that was one of the, that was one of the better wins. Uh, I got to, you know, like Jeff Eisen was my pitching coach at the time, and one of my better friends throughout baseball. So that was a real memorable year, just getting the opportunity to manage, having a pitching coach that I, that I knew and trusted and liked being around. And uh, we made the best of a, of a bad situation, which turned into the following year being up in London in 99 and winning a championship in 99. So that, that turn around my first and my second year is really, really a, a special time. Um, you know, and then the following year in 2000, the opening day in 2000 and in, in 2000 when Brett Gray struck out 25. I mean, th those are three certain memories right off the bat. And I think that's why I'm here today. Just m memories like that and moments like that when you get hooked on baseball. And that, that certainly got me hooked and independent. Well, Andy, hoping for a thousand more on the on the road ahead. Congratulations <laughs> again. Well, thank you very much, Ryan. You guys have been great. Thank you very much. For Otters Digital Network and Otters TV, I'm Ryan Brown. Thanks again to Andy McCollum. Thank you.